Hey guys, Pedro here to do an album review and today I'm here to talk to you guys about the brand new album from Madball for the cause out June 15th on Nuclear Blast, the band's ninth studio album. It has 13 tracks, 35 minutes in length and that's not a surprise because most of the songs are under the three minute mark. There's even a song under two minutes which makes for a very compact and powerful record. Uh, short but sweet if you will. Now, one of the aspects that always attracted me to the New York hardcore scene has been the lyrics. Um, the, the use of multiple voices in the chorus, almost sounding like a choir. But more so, uh, the specific guitar playing, uh, the specific style in that guitar playing, and also the, the message, the content, the actual content of the lyrics. And those were always the key factors that attracted me to the New York hardcore scene, and this album has it in bunches. I always felt that the lyrics of the songs were very empowering, very strong messages about what you can do about your life if you don't like the way things are going. Like, you can really grab your life by the balls, if you will, and really change the directions of things. The power is within you to change your own life. I always felt that strong connection to the lyrics. Uh, I always felt that it really allowed me to look at what was going on in my own life and then use those lyrics as mo motivation for me to do something about the negatives of my life. So that's always been a staple of Madball and, and, and the New York hardcore scene in general, and this album is no different. It really has those strong motivational messages uh, that really allow for the listener to really see that perhaps you're not alone in, in those feelings, you're not alone in that period of time. And this is an album that to me, I feel that connection to it because it allows me to think about my own life and situations that are happening around me and how I can relate to somebody else who's in a different part of the world, but going through those same struggles, through those same problems. Really strong, strong lyrical content dealing with anything from social issues, from personal losses, um, struggles in your life, financial struggles, friend struggles, family struggles, work struggles. It's, it's really an album where the lyrics are really about today's modern day life and all the things that we, the working men, really go through on our day-to-day -day routine. So it's a really easy album to connect to lyrically from that perspective. I, I really feel that the message comes really across in a, in a very aggressive way, but also in a very positive way, which has always been a staple with Madball. This, is, this also marks the return of Matt Henderson, the guitar player of the band. He hasn't been in an album since 2000, so this marks his return. But more important to me, this album has the DNA of Tim Armstrong from Rancid. He is a producer on the, the album, he did a lot of the production of the album. And to me, this album really has his fingerprint. I, I would say it has a little bit of the Rancid DNA on it. And, and it's really clear in some of the songs. The song still have the DNA of Madball. This is a Madball album through and through, but in some of the songs you can really feel where Tim has his fingerprints on and where he gave the song a little bit of a, a twist, a little bit of a sound change, a little bit of a curveball, if you will, and really gave the band a, a different look and it made their sound a little bit different. Very similar in certain ways to the sound of Rancid in certain songs, in certain, not the full song, but in certain parts of the song. And that to me is important because it gives a different dynamic to the songs. The songs don't get stale, they don't get caught in this you know, cookie cutter format where every single song has the same style, same idea, same kind of message in the lyrics. So I really like what was done with this album from that perspective because it allowed for the band to try different things and, 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 gave, and really give life to those lyrics and to those songs. I also like the fact that they had a bunch of cameos. They had Sick Jack in from Psycho Realm on the song Rev Up. They had Ice-T doing a cameo in Evil Ways and then Tim himself, Tim Time Bomb on the song The Fog. So they had a couple of different uh, guest appearances on the album, which really adds life and dynamic to the album. I, I always enjoy hardcore albums or any album in general when you have some guest vocals coming in and really giving a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a different spin to the song because it, it changes the dynamic of the song and it really breaks down the fluidity of the album and makes for a more um, a more layered album, if you will. Now, this album to me is a, a really good Madball album. You know, this is a take no prisoners, take no shit kind of album, really balls to the wall from the moment it starts to the moment it finishes. There are a lot of fast paced, fast, high octane songs. I really like that. They included uh, a couple of songs that deviate from that a little bit, but not too much. 
Uh, they may not be as faster tempo, but what they lose in the tempo, they gain in the heaviness. So this is really a really strong release from Madball, a really good album. Uh, a, an album that I think has a bunch of songs that are, are going to be earworms that are just going to get stuck in your head and it's going to be impossible for you to forget the lyrics and forget these songs. There was really nothing that I really disliked about the album. I really liked the way the whole album was put together. I liked the way they structured the songs. I liked the delivery in the songs. I liked the, the music. I liked the lyrics. To me, through and through, this is going to be, uh, as we look back one day, this is going to be one of Bad, Madball's better records. I really like it shows a lot of maturity. It shows a different side of the band, if you will. Lyrically, even maturity in the lyrics. Um, I, I really like this album. To me, it, it, it marks a growth for the band. It really does. It really, it's an album that really sets itself apart from previous Madball albums. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, this was not an easy task. I really liked the album, so I really liked nearly every single song. But if I have to pick three songs, I'm going to pick three songs that really give you, uh, you the listener, something a little bit different. One of them is Rev Up. That to me is one of the most blistering songs of the album. It starts with Sick Jack and from Psycho Realm doing a freestyle rap at the beginning of the song. And that creates such a cool intro to a song that's so high octane. Like this song to me is really broken into two parts. Uh, three parts if you count that, that Sick Jack and intro. But this song is really broken into two parts. The first part of the song is more of a, of a New York hardcore song structure. And then the second part of the song to me really sounded like a, a, almost became a rancid song. So to me, this song is really divided into two parts. There's two really distinct characteristics about this song that really divides the song into two separate, uh, separate scenes, if you will. Uh, but this song also has some really catchy lyrics. Uh, it has a little bit of a punk vibe to it in that second part of the song, but that leads itself to that catchy hook, to those catchy lyrics that I'm sure everybody would be singing once you hear this song. This to me is one of the better songs of the album just because of how short it is, how compact it is, how fast paced it is, but then when you include the, the break in the middle that really divides the song into two, it really creates for a very different and unique song. Another one that I really enjoyed was For You, and this is a slower song, but what this song loses in, in tempo and speed, it gains in heaviness. This is a song that anybody who's had somebody in their life that they've lost, they surely will connect to on a lyrical, a lyrical perspective. I truly connected with this song from a lyrical perspective. I really felt the pain of the singer as he's singing this song. I really felt that connection. I've, I've lost somebody close to me, so I really felt that connection to the lyrics. Uh, to me, this is one uh, of the slower songs of the album, but one of the heavier songs of the album. Not just heavy from a guitar riff perspective, but heavy in terms of the subject matter of the lyrics. It also has an incredible hook. Um, Carry On For You is it, really the hook of the song that's in the chorus, really the hook. And that's a message that we all can relate to. We've all lost somebody in our lives and we all feel the need to carry on with our own lives. In, in order to represent that person that we lost, in order to honor their memory. So I think we all can really connect lyrically to this song and the way they presented this song was beautiful because they didn't go over the top, they didn't go super fast, they decided to go with more of a mellowed out song and with a heavier guitar riff and really allow for the lyrics to be, you know, the message to come through in a more clear uh, way. I, I really enjoyed how they did this song. A really true homage of a song, if you will. Really incredible. It, it's, it's, it, it could easily become uh, an anthem song, something that you could see at live venues and really get people behind it because it really has all the characteristics to really be a song that moves masses just because I don't think there's anybody out there that cannot connect to this song on the lyrical perspective. Last but not least, Evil Ways featuring Ice-T. So this is a very different collaboration, if you will, from, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Propane. Propane had a collaboration with Ice-T many years ago uh, when they put out the album The Truth Hurts on the song Put Out The Lights. And that was more uh, of a duet, if you will, with Ice-T. This is really just guest vocals from Ice-T coming in and dropping some vocals into this song. Uh, this is a, another song that's very fast, very high octane, super fast song, really aggressive from, from a musical perspective, but also from lyrically, lyrically very aggressive as well. 
it really fits perfectly into Ice-T and he delivers an incredible infectious hook. Uh, this song is a banger for sure. It has heavy riffs, it has heavy drums, kill killer lyrics, and then Ice-T delivering a brutal hook that will just have you singing it along. So this song to me is absolute money to quote Ice-T. This song is just a, a, a perfect hardcore song with a killer guest appearance from Ice-T. It, it, it reminisced of, of Put Out The Lights, but it, a very different song from that one, a very different type of guest appearance. He just really comes in for the chorus part and just really delivers that hooky chorus. Uh, so he's just really more of a guest appearance, more than, than, than a duet that, that Put Out The Lights was. But this is a really cool song, I really like it, really short song. I think this is the shortest song on the album, under the two minute mark, but it's just a banger from the beginning to the end. It's so short, so compact. And, and because it's so fast, at the end of the song, it really feels like the song is over three minutes, even though it's under two. That's how much it packs into such a short period of time. I absolutely love this song. Overall, Madball For The Cause out June 15th is a great Madball album. I really feel that this marks a growth in the band. It really marks um, a, 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 not only a musical growth, but a lyrical growth in the band. And I really feel that this is perhaps, in my opinion, one of their strongest albums to date. I really enjoyed this album. I really like the dynamics that they gave us with the lyrics and the music, and I really enjoyed the guest appearances that they had on the album. Overall, and a really good, really, really, really good Madball album. Now, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you guys have to say about this album? What do you have to say about the band? Leave your comments below, and I'll be responding to those. See you guys.